guys welcome back to my channel um <laughs> why did i just say that i never say that but anyways welcome back we're just going to be doing a eyebrow tutorial as you can obviously see in the title but just slick that hair back and have a nice fresh face so we can go ahead and get on started so i'm just showing y'all my natural brows as you can see here just really full in the beginning and then sparse on the ends. As you can see, one is nicely shaped and the other one's like, shut up and give me coffee right now. Why are you even talking to me? So anyways, going ahead with this tutorial, just plucking the little hairs that get on my nerves. And then there we go. Let's just get on started with this. And I'm just going to be putting Nevaeh's Shave Balm. Uh, this is an amazing primer. And I'll have all the details li uh, listed down below. And after you put that on, just push it into your skin just because I feel like it's a nice preparation for the brows. Now, I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade, but the NYX Tame and Frame is pretty much identical. So, that's amazing. And then my other one is Elf Cream Eyeliner. It's a great starter if you just want to get into filling your brows, but getting that nice strong brow. But that one, for sure, you have to set it with the powder. But the rest, you can go a little bit more natural with that without setting with the powder so these two are my favorite brushes this one i like to use for gel eyeliner and this one the 409 is my brow one right now but morphe also has one with the spoolie and everything but this is just what i got so i'm using it and i did cut off a little bit excess on the ends just to make it a little thinner but that's pretty much it so here as you can see that i'm doing i'm just dipping it into the product and then cleaning off the excess on my palm back of my hand or palm it's the back of my hand sorry <laughs> and so just cleaning it off and then brushing those brow hairs up to get them nice and in place where you want them so all right so what i like to do is start off from the middle of the brow and then just start drawing that line where i want it i like to make fake my brows a little bit more just underneath as you can see because obviously there's no brow there <laughs> so i'm just making something happen so i like to start off with the line from the middle to the tail and then from the top middle to the tail as you can see and do not be afraid um of making a mistake just get a q-tip clean it off it comes off it's makeup no big deal guys so as you can see once i have that mapped out where i want it i just start filling it in with that brow pomade and don't forget to keep um keep in mind that i am dipping back into the pomade i'm just fast forwarding through this stuff because i'm pretty sure y'all don't want to see me keep dipping it in dipping it in dipping it in <laughs> but other than that just keep on filling it in and do not be afraid to go heavy handed towards the tail of your brow sorry i'm like getting a sore throat so excuse me <laughs> and now that we have that pretty much all fixed through this is no extra product put on. This is after I've already started blending it in. I did not dip and in, dip into new product. So just start fading that line in more as you can see. So I went from the heavy line from the middle and brought it to the front, but lightly. That's why you don't grab any extra product because when you're working with the front of the brow, you don't want it to be too heavy. You still want to have a natural looking brow. I mean, of course, some people are going to be like, girl, that's not your brow, you know, but hey, you do what you got to do, okay? It's your face, it's your life, it's your makeup, do what you got to do, okay? <laughs> so as you can see, I did my tail and um, I just went ahead and make sure the color was there. And now I'm working into the front and I just start making little flecks of um, mimicking a real hair, as you can see, and then lightly blending that out. Alright, so now that we have that done, just make sure to brush everything out with a spoolie. Go a little bit more um, heavy-handed in the front and then lightly brush out the ends so you don't take off a lot of the color that you put in. So much work in for the ends, okay? Okay? So now with the Q-tip, just clean up everything that you do not like, any hairs, anything like that. Well, not hairs, but y'all know what I mean. So after this, I'm going to be using the 35K palette and filling everything in. Um, I just like to do this step. I mostly just do it from the tail and then bring it in towards the middle and then whatever product is left on my brush, I use for the brows. And that is the brows done. So all I like to do to really sharpen up that brow is use this concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind, I believe. I'll have everything put in the description box down below so y'all know what the heck I'm talking about. And this is the Morphe M432 brush. I believe it says on the website it's a concealer brush. I'm not even sure or flat define or something like that. But all you have to do is go through the little search engine and ta-da, it's there. And I think it's only like four bucks. Their brushes are so inexpensive and freaking amazing. So get on it, get on it. So all I do is apply the product under the brow. Do not meet to the color until you have that product evenly distributed 
throughout the brush. You don't want to go in with a heavy amount of concealer right under because then you'll just mask all that hard work you did and mess up your brows and stuff. It does not come out pretty, trust me. So once I have that done, I'm just going to blend it out with a dry beauty blender because it was dry when I had it. And that is the finished brows. As you can see, all the hard work has paid off, honey. Yes, you better work. So after this, this is how I prime my lids. I just finish off the rest of the eye with concealer and set it with translucent powder and everything is done. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking through this video. If you found it helpful, if you liked it, please comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions or if you have any requests, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and like this video if you did. Thank you guys. Bye. <laughs>